No, that says Nintendo. Get it right, sheesh. Hey there, everybody, it's Vixie and Luna, and today we're playing Pikmin. So, first story time, way, 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 way back in, like, the far-flung year of, like, I think 1999, maybe even 1998, I'm, don't quite remember, maybe even 2000, don't, again, don't quite remember, uh, we got a hold of a GameCube demo disc for games that had, uh, coming out on that newfangled GameCube thing that was coming out around the time. Uh, it wasn't like an actual, like, demo disc of, as in, like, actually play the game, but more like, uh, like, you could insert the disc into your computer, and it had a bunch of trailers on it. And, uh, the, mind, this was, like, way back before, like, internet was a common household thing. So, like, if I wanted to be on the internet, I'd, I'd have to wait for, like, my weekly visit to gr my grandma's house. Because, as uh, she had, she, they had internet, and... Uh, we didn't, so, and, and always, like, the uh, check-in video game news ain't, like, the top of priorities. But, uh, I can't remember what, where we even got that disc. It might have been from a, a Nintendo Power or something. But, uh, la the, the games they had on said demo disc were, was stuff like Wave Racer, uh, Luigi's Mansion, uh, maybe... Monkey Ball, I don't remember. Super Monkey Ball, Luigi's Mansion, and also this curious little game that we had never heard about called Pikmin. And I was super enamored by this game. Like, I watched the, those were the trailers. It might have been these little, like, demo videos playing here that would have been the trailers. I don't remember exactly. Again, it's been, it's been a bit. But yeah, I was like super enamored by this game because it was so unlike anything I had ever seen at the time. So, yes, yeah, like, this is the game we were like most looking forward to to playing all the way back when. So like, yeah, and also like it's the game. It's the game's twentieth anniversary, uh, or at least twentieth anniversary was like last month. So. Uh, Oh, I had files on here, right? I've played on this a uh, totally legit copy of Pikmin before. So yeah, it's, it's the twenty, a big twentieth anniversary of the game, which uh, you know, big deal. One of the big Nintendo franchises, franchises we're like the most fan of. <clears throat> it's it's up there with Metroid and uh, Pokemon, and you know. So, watch out, Olimar. You're gonna land on, you're gonna hit that meteorite. Dang it, did you even try to dodge that? Now we get to have a cool adventure on this fun video game. Tragic. Well, darn. Well, I mean, by the looks of things, there's many impact sites, to be fair. I don't know. That looks basically unfixable. I can't believe we've totaled our ship and... Can insurance pay that off? Have no clue. <clears throat> yep, we're stranded. No engine, no nothing. Poisonous oxygen. Yeah, basically... Uh... Olimar's an alien, a hakotation, so he cannot breathe this oxygen stuff, apparently. Yeah, we got 30 days to complete the game, and it just so happens that the ship lost 30 parts. Extremely convenient. Yeah, I run into this thing. Red thing. Pop out of the ground. And things pop out of things. It's like a Russian nesting doll. 
but with plants. Yeah, well, onion. It doesn't look anything like an onion. Why would you call it that? I'm gonna slap this flower out of frustration. Ow. Oh, yeah. uh, this, is, this is a bit of a hand handed tutorial, in all fairness. Like, this this first day, uh, they, they basically just be like, no, we got we got to teach you everything. To be fair, after this, they do l take the kitty gloves off, and you can just go, thankfully. It just, they have a day here to get you acclimated to the game, because, like, to be fair, Pikmin is a kind of a, a bit of a genreless game. It kind of invented its own, like, little sub-genre, because, like, it does fit under the umbrella of RTS in that you have little units that you can command around, but it's still, like, very much its unique thing. A fascinating creature. I will break the fourth wall to explain how to use it. What is the C and X buttons in the context of the Hockitation universe? Who knows? Oh uh, yeah, just review camera controls. I already know camera controls because I've played this game before. Many a time, in fact. And there were at least two seedlings. I mean, though we inserted something with a one on it. Talk about inconsistency. It's funny to have the battle music backing this. It's, be it's because I'm beating up on the plant. It's playing, like, the fight music. And take the Pikmin over there. And we hatch more Pikmin. Whoa. We're surrounded by friends now. Uh, is there a red? Yes, there's a Peliposi over here. We'll take care of that. You can sit by that one. We'll get the rest of this stuff fish. This. I just tried to puke up a bit of word soup there. It didn't quite work out. Situated. That's the word I'm looking for. Uh, I think there's another one up here. Yes, sir. Need to take care of that one. I don't think there's one over here. This is like one of these just doesn't have something up there for no reason. It's just kind of there. For symmetry's sake, a little bit of symmetry to make our lives slightly more comfortable. Yeah, come here. I gotta take care of this red one. And yeah, for explaining mechanics' sake, like Pikmin can't always carry something on their own. They sometimes need more Pikmin. Like the the blue number on top, the blue number on top. It's weird, because, like, it's... I think it's the opposite, like, every other game. But, like, the blue number on top is how many is, like, the absolute bare minimum you need to carry something, and the number on the bottom is the number of Pikmin actually carrying the thing. Whoa, and the bigger thing popped out more Pikmin. But it didn't pop out f f six. It popped out the number it said. Talk about inconsistency. Like, there's an actual reason for that, just... Spoilers, I guess, for this slightly over 20-year-old game. It's 20, yeah, it's 20, 21, so it'd be 20 years old. Is all of them are looking at me? What, what are you, what are you looking at the sky for, buddy? Is that a, I've never seen that glitch before. Is that a glitch? I don't know if the geometry just interacted with Olimar's head really weird or what. The all Pikmin are curious as children. I wish I could do voice acting for this. I, 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 I have kind of come around on... Again, like... I'll have the game speak for itself, and I'll just talk over it. I think specifically the problem for Fusion was, like... This weird combination of... The text normally scrolls a little too slow. So you have to hold the A button to make it pr advance. Like, at a decent clip, but... Holding the you can't hold it for too long. Oh yeah, we discovered the engine. Extremely convenient that it landed right next to us. Otherwise, we n wouldn't be able to launch. 
Yeah, I think specifically the problem with fusion was like the text advances too slow if you don't hold anything. But if you do do hold the button down for too long, then it advances the text forward by accident. And yeah, because we don't have 20 Pikmin, we can't lift this thing. So like, you kind of have to do this weird finger acrobatics thing of advancing the text but not advancing it too fast. Which gets weird. So I think for future reference, just like, yeah, don't need to read. It's fine. I can read and commentate at the same time. I'll have to get used to it eventually anyway, because, you know, that's just the LP thing to do. Yeah, sometimes you can end up in this, I think for this game in particular, because I think in all other games, pick, uh, carrying Pikmin just kind of clips through each other. But it's like, because the one pellet moves slightly faster than the guys on the five pellet do, they're actually shoving the five pellet to go a little faster than it's supposed to, which is kind of funny. Uh, yeah, you mash A to uproot all the guys. That's what I've been doing, Olimar. You don't have to explain things that are already common knowledge for us. You pluck all the Pikmin. All of the ground. It's nice to get... I won't get into, into why later, but Olimar like, is actually kind of unironically one of my favorite video game protagonists. Hey, you. Get on there. Don't be a shrewd. Oh. Yes. I want to... Nope. I want to throw the pick... Oh, it's on the right on there. Hooray! And we don't really have anything left to do because that's the last thing to do. And the mask amount of Pikmin we can get for today is 25. Pretty sure. So yeah, they're carrying the thing. Pikmin. Capable of lifting things. How is the engine even running? Like, it's not even hooked up to anything. It's just sort of functioning. Weird hockatation space magic, I guess. Just interacting with the local foliage. That's how you know this is a good immersive video game. Apparently. This did have, like, really outstanding graphics for the time it came out. I remember being super stoked about this game and all of its realistic glory. And there is and there is a point to it being realistic. It's not just like realism for the sake of realism. Uh, again, uh, something to get into later cuz like it's winding down to the end of the episode. Oh yeah, we completed the tutorial level. And like because like it, it's like Pikmin LP mandate to end videos on uh, one per day, or have one day per episode, so like, yeah, episode's probably gonna be a little bit shorter than we had in Dread, but, you know, maybe that's a good thing. And then the thing flies off. According to all known laws of aviation, that little thing should not be able to lift off with how much it probably weighs, but it lifts off anyway, because screw the rules. Yeah, you get, you get a little, you get a little, uh, journal to give you a little bit of insight into Olimar as a person. I think a big part of, part of why I like, why we like Olimar so much is because he's pretty inquisitive. I think I think a good chunk of his characterization comes in, in in a two. To be fair, there's some there's some in here, and to be fair, a lot of it's locked behind like optional stuff. Like a, pr a pretty big moment, ha only a pretty big uh, like journal entry only happens if like you get all your Pikmin killed, which would be like pretty sad. And I don't know if I'd want to do that on purpose, just because it'd take a bit. But uh. Oh yeah, uh, text on screen. Don't pay attention to that. I'm definitely totally playing a legit copy of Pikmin that I have in my hand right now on a totally legit GameCube that I have in my hand right now. 
How am I playing on a controller then? Wouldn't you like to know?